John Tiemann joined by RSU 10th year head coach Justin Barkley. 121-64 the final score. Set a couple of uh, offensive single game RSU men's program records. Of course the points in a game, 121, that's three better than 118, which was also against Bacon uh, four years ago in 2015. 51 made field goals. I thought you shared the basketball extremely well in this game. Uh, how would you assess your team's play in, in a blowout victory here at home? Well, very, very pleased. I, I thought our guys carried out the game plan. We wanted to really share it today, make teammates better. Uh, our effort needed to be better than it was Saturday. Uh, I thought that was the case. Uh, and then it obviously helps when you make shots. I thought we just really started shooting it well out of the gate. But uh, I think everybody that played today really contributed, uh, really helped us out. And you know, it was one of those days we got our bench really into the play. Uh, gave us a chance to, you know, roll some guys out there in some extended minutes and rest some guys. But uh, all in all, very, very good day. You know, anytime you can do this for, you know, the young kids, as, as we told our guys, it's our chance to pay it forward um, and, and continue to help kids out and, and, and be great role models. This was a good day all around. Single game season high, 16 threes made, 35 attempts. That's probably, you're going to say, a little bit too many in the attempts department, but most of those were in the flow of the game, right? Right, and, they, and listen, they weren't bad threes. You know, I think it's the defense we had saw. Uh, they were really clean looks. It's really hard to turn them down. Um, 16 made threes. Our guys have worked hard uh, the entire semester. Uh, and this is obviously our stats have shown this, that, that our guys have shot the ball well. Um, it's the effort they're putting into it. And our staff's done a great job meeting them. Uh, so, I, listen. Good looks. We'll take them anytime. Heck, we missed some good ones. Um, we'll just we'll just learn from it and we'll move forward. Seven players score in double figures. Just talked to Cole Kinneman here on the post game show with the 19 points, hit five of six from three, and Makaya McQuarters off your bench as well with a career high 15 points. Those are guys you're going to need to to lengthen that bench up here once you jump back into MIAA conference play starting on Friday at NSU. Absolutely. You know, first of all, Cole's been playing better as of late. I think what you're seeing is kid get a little stronger. You know, he had a season-ending injury surgery a year ago on his foot. You know, he got released about a week. You know, he had re-injured re the ankle. Uh, so it, it took him some time to get his balance, his timing back, strength. And, and, and the young man that we've got some confidence in as a staff that you're just going to see him continue to grow as, as Micaiah looks the part. And it's just we got to get a little more steady with what we're doing. Practice is very important to him. Uh, and I think he's got a chance to have a very bright future here. Uh, he's getting better and better each day. So we're I was excited to see some of those guys have success. And uh, hopefully they'll use this to, you know, really, really help springboard their, their career. Kinnaman ends up with four assists. Davis had six assists, eight for Raj Parnell. I thought he was really involved offensively and moving without the basketball but even when he had it he was looking for teammates to make plays. I thought today he was extremely active he obviously had a couple plays there that probably should have been charges but hey it's okay probably because of the score uh, but I thought he did a good job of tacking the glass getting other guys involved he's one of our better passers on the team you know I think if teams play as a zone I feel really confident and comfortable to put him in the high post to, to get some guys involved. Right block, spinning shot Air banked by Fryer from six feet out. Rebound, strong side, Parnell. Long leak out, up to McQuarters, and he dunks it! After drilling four threes in the first half, now he has a steal. Out at the lane wing, he'll bounce it off the backboard. Parnell with a two-handed dunk! But the players in the second half really fed off the energy of the young crowd. Claremont Elementary students, some, some, yeah. of, your, some of your eye, Nola Longhorn's also here as well. Saw some highlight dunks there in the second half. Guys, we're having fun out there. Yeah, in, in a day like today, that's what it's all about. We wanted to have fun. Uh, you know, sometimes as a coach, I can be pretty uptight, uh, pretty demanding. I think, you know, when you've got a team that, that's gotten off to the start that we have, you want to make sure that you can bottle that up and we don't take any steps backwards. And, uh, you know, when you get out to a lead, and, and obviously we knew we probably had a better team, uh, you just don't want to get you know, comfortable and all of a sudden, you know, overconfident and playing sloppy. And I thought today our guys 
stayed in there for 40 minutes. Three days of practice at NSU and MIAA conference play Friday night in Tahlequah. Congratulations on the win. Thanks for your time. Thank Wave you. off a ball screen for Miller. Drive right. Speed in the lane. Pitch it near corner. Three ball. Sumner missed it. Tipped up and in to Sumner at the foul line. He'll run ahead to Davis right side. Swoops in. Hangs. Scores and he's fouled. Count the basket. Rebound corralled by Peacock. Up to Davis. Sprints left. Uncontested to the rim. Gives Gets it baseline left, fading shot, barely hit the iron from 12, three seconds. Davis the rebound, runs to the front court, pulls up, and for 14 gets it to go! At the buzzer, Tavian Davis! Sternberger to Sumner, top of the key, dribbling left, pull up line, drive and rattles home for three. He'll catch defender, Carnell comes away with it, goes to Rainey, drives left, scoops and scores!